going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. We're back at Copart. This time, we're at the main lot. We're going to jump into this today with something very close and dear to my heart, a 2019 Ram. Now, don't worry. If you're not a Ram fan, I got something for you after this one, okay? Another truck, so don't go anywhere. This is a 2019 Ram 1500 Bighorn with the 5.7 Hemi. It's basically the same truck I have, but this one's black and it has a lot of hail damage. A, a lot of hail damage. This is, this is real, real, real bad. Now it looks like this side got minor hail damage, but the top and the roof got massive hail damage. And I don't know about this side yet. Yeah, this side got pretty major. Yeah, yeah. About 75 to 80% of the truck has severe hail damage. Of course, it's an insurance vehicle. It's got 35,000 miles on it with an airbag light on. Seatbelt locked. Whoa. Okay. That's bizarre. Pre-tensioners? Yes. The, the pre-tensioner's blown. I mean, there's why your airbag light is on right there. Uh, the pre-tensioner's alone. Could the hail damage have been so significant that it set off the seatbelt pre-tensioner? I don't think so. I don't think so. There's something. Oh, wait a minute. Oh. Oh. You know what I did? I didn't look at all the pictures. Oh, oh, wow. Yeah, I didn't look at all the pictures. I sure didn't. I saw the front and I saw hail damage and I thought, yeah, not that bad. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty bad. <laughs> I can't believe. I'm almost embarrassed. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it in. I'm not gonna cut it out. You got damage back here as well from where the bed went in and then pulled back. I am so embarrassed right now that I said, could hail have caused the pretensioners to blow? That doesn't make any sense, guys. I knew that, but I didn't know it was wrecked. I really didn't. So now that I've gone ahead and embarrassed myself for today, uh, hopefully we won't do any more of that. Let's go ahead and pop the hood, take a look at that beautiful 5.7 Hemi. <laughs> hey, hey guys, you, you think that maybe hail could have caused the pretensioners to blow? Gee, I wonder. I'm so upset with myself for saying that. <laughs> I'm, I'm real upset with myself for saying that. I'm also upset with myself that I didn't see those pictures in the bag. I didn't see that. Um, yeah, oh wow. I mean, just the amount of damage back here. There's a lot, guys. There's a lot. Now, could it still be used as a, as a good work truck? Sure. Sure. I mean, not with that bed. I, you're going to have to replace that bed. And are these ones at the bedside unbolts or do you have to... No, you got to remove spot welds. And I, I know it's probably not the hardest thing in the world, but for me, I'd rather just replace the bed. I would. Uh-oh. You know what else? I didn't, I didn't see this frame buckle. Yep. Right down there right past the spring buckets for the suspension. Well, okay. Now, look, I'm gonna tell you like this. Do you want a new model truck for a little bit of money that you gotta put a little bit of work into that's never gonna be perfect? If so, this is it. Could you live with the buckle in the frame? Yes, yeah, you could live with that. The amount of damage, though, from this going into the cab. Could you live with that? Yeah, you probably could. The door touching the cab? Yeah, you could probably live with that, too. I will tell you, though, I think the thing that concerns me most is you could replace the bed. And you could probably clean all this up, and nobody would ever know that there is a buckle in the frame there. It'll probably line up pretty decent. Maybe not perfect. But I'll bet that would all line up pretty decent. And aside from this damage back here, you'd be hard pressed to know that this thing had been involved in a serious accident. Yeah, I don't know, guys. I would be concerned with the buckle in the frame. You get another wreck? Someone rear ends you a second time? 
it could be bad news, man. Yeah, you could get real hurt. Come on, quiet down. Quiet it down. No? Looks like they were using Mobile One. Very nice. Windshield is trash. Mirrors are still good, though. This is very similar to my truck. Very similar. Not, not exactly. Because I don't have this thing, whatever this is. Is that... Is that an actual CD player in 2019? You got insurance cards. Truck stuff. Hell, my truck. I've only got 1,600 miles on it. Brakes feel good. Goes right into gear, goes forwards. Goes backwards. Auto park engage. Oh, because I got the door open. I hate that cars don't let you drive with the doors open anymore. They used to. They used to. Those running boards are pretty decent. I need to get some running boards for mine as well. There's an OBD splitter right there. The other OBD port is right there. That's the original one. And then we got your, uh, your splitter right here. So they've got that running into something. I don't know what, but I like those, uh, those floor liners as well. With 35,000 miles, you can bet she probably runs and drives fine. Yeah, she sounds healthy. Everything's gonna work. You don't have to worry about that. Well, sorry that I wasted your time on a really, really wrecked truck. I, I honestly didn't know it was that bad, guys. I didn't know it was that bad. She's pretty rough. But, it, hey, at least some of you guys out there that are watching may not know what to look for in something like this. You know, at least I was able to show you. Looking at the bedside, very important. Looking at the cab corners, looking at gaps, super important. And always, always, always look around for frame damage on these wrecked vehicles, man. Let's see what we got up next. I think it might be a Chevy or it might be another Dodge. How about a 2009 Chrysler PT Cruiser? I don't know, guys. It's only got 59,000 miles on the clock. I know a lot of you going to laugh at it. A lot of you don't like it, but I do, man. I've always thought the PT Cruiser was cool. I also always liked the HHR. This is, this is pretty nice, guys. This is really nice. And 60,000 miles on the odometer. She's got good tires, Bridgestone tires with really good tread. Oh, wow. Smells good. Smells real good. Nice leather. I wish you could see the paint better. Not bad at all. She's even got power, guys. 59,198. Two keys as well. How about that? Two keys. Very nice. All right. Here we go. Let's see what it does. It came right to life. With a check engine light, of course. Airbag light too, huh? Boy, that's a... Uh... Yep. <laughs> that's a Dodge for you. Chrysler, Plymouth, whatever. All right. Boy, she vibrates like crazy. Wow. I forgot how bad these things vibrated. I don't know. Can you see that? Probably not. I mean, this thing is... This <laughs> whole steering wheel is vibrating. 
Yeah, it's pretty bad. The mounts in these are absolutely awful. I mean, they're so bad. They're so bad. Uh, same thing with the Dodge Neons too, man. They, they're all like this. All of these Dodges with this, uh, this, those made on this platform, they all really suck. Now, I like some of them and I like this one, but I can admit that there are some things about them that just really do suck. Transmissions were not very good in these. She goes backwards. She goes forwards. The vibration does subside a little bit when you put it in gear. There was a specific procedure for adjusting the mounts on these when you replace them. I've had to do it before. It's kind of a pain. But usually it shakes like this either because there is a bad mount or it shakes like this because the mount was not adjusted properly in the center of the engine. You guys probably can't see it way 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 down there in the center of the motor there is a mount that goes through like the frame of the car into the engine and that thing has got to be adjusted right if it's not it's a bad day 2.4 turbo oh i didn't know this was a turbo i guess i do now okay is this a limited or something or, or a touring? Did I miss it? Oh, it's been debadged. That's why it's been debadged on the back. I had no idea this was a uh, this was a turbo. That's interesting. We got some extra batteries. That's brand new. A 26R DL battery. Brand spanking new. Wonder what that went to. Okay. Hell, man. This isn't bad. I wonder what the price is on this. Oh, that vibration, though. You can hear it. Oh, wow. That is, that is, this is one of the worst, one of the worst I have ever experienced. This one is bad. Dual heated seats, Boston premium audio. Okay, radio works, sure. I don't know where the eject button is to get your, uh, to get your CD out. It's a six disc CD changer too. Honestly, this thing's not too bad, aside from the motor mounts. Getting those motor mounts replaced, most likely, they're probably bad. They're not fun. Working on a PT Cruiser really sucks. There is not a lot of room under the hood to work on this thing. There's just not. Yeah, AC is nice and cold. We'll go ahead and shut that off. That's not helping things. The steering feels really good. Brake pedal feels good, goes right into gear. The vibration does get better when you're in drive. Not, it's still not great. I'm trying to see if you can hear, yeah, I hear a clunk, you hear that? Yeah. Yeah, she's got a bad motor mount or two or three. key fob works guys this is decent this is decent it really does it runs good it looks like it's in pretty good shape the body looks good the tires are decent the wheels are decent needs a good cleaning aside from that though this isn't bad this isn't bad at all i don't i don't think i'm interested in it though I don't know, guys. You tell me what you think below. I'm going to think on it because we're still winning that Ford Focus ST. I really don't have any use for this, and it's not worth anything. So I don't know what I would even do with it. Next, we have a 2018 Chevy Silverado. 1500, baby. 
Z71 like a Cadillac. Oh yeah. Toyo tires. Looking good. Running boards. She took a little bit of damage in the back. How much, I really don't remember. Let's take a look. Oh, that's not that bad. Well, it doesn't look that bad. The rear bumper is done. The tailgate is done. Did the bed survive though? Ooh, well, folded in the bed here. Dang, I, okay, that I didn't see. I knew it took some damage on here. I wonder if we got a buckle in the frame rail or anything. Can we even see under here? Yeah, we can. Let's look back here. I don't see anything, guys. I can't see back there at all, so maybe you can see something that I don't. But this doesn't look that bad. All right, so in this case, just throw a bed on it. A bed and a bumper should probably be all right. This is nice. This is one of my favorite body styles. It really is. I love it. Moving on to the interior. Interesting color combo. We got like a, a dark brown and a light tan. Surprisingly, I, I think I like it. Seatbelt pretensioners are blown, of course. I don't see any bags blown, though. Let's take a look at the back here. Everything back here looks to be in good shape as well. I should probably check the bedside or the uh, the cab back there as well. There is the tail light. It might be okay. Before we attempt to fire this up, why don't we go ahead and check over here and see if the bed went into the cab it did not much but it did there's a little bit of damage through here honestly i wouldn't worry about it gaps are still good i think it's fine all right let's commence with firing this bad boy up it's got a remote keyless entry of course Remote start, pretty common for a truck this new. Let's see. <laughs> Dead as the door now. Yeah, dead as the door now. All right, well, I guess we better fire this thing up then with a jump. Let's see if I can figure out where the heck the hood release is. There it is. It should have a Five three under the hood of this one. Take a quick peek under here. There you go. Let's see here. What do we got? Yeah, five three. Five three. Good motor. Let's go ahead and get the jump pack on here real quick. Uh, look at all this. Uh, the dust out here, man. It's awful. It's real bad out here. I'll throw that jump pack on here real quick. And get her fired up for you guys. Hot. And ground. Oops. Easy there. Get on there. Bite. There we go. Ready, set, go. See what she does this time still really she must not like my ground uh, yeah she doesn't like that ground let's see if that's any better picky truck there we go. There we go. Yes, sir. All right. Safety restraint system, you don't say. Yeah, we know. We know. We know all about OnStar. Yeah, I like this. I like this. And, and cleaning those windows, man. <laughs> I don't know why I bother. 
But man, I just like to be able to see out. There we go. Heated seats, of course. What else we got? Ah, uh, your basic stuff, really. Little radio, little screen. Gauge cluster looks pretty good. Only 60,000 miles. So, of course, everything's gonna work. Yeah, everything works. No sunroof. That's all right, though. I don't care about that. Very nice. She's a nice truck, guys. She is. She's a nice truck. I really do. I like this. There's something about this body style Chevy that I just really, really like. I can't explain it. I just think they look real good. Hopefully, this will charge that battery up for the next guy that comes out here to look at it. You won't have to uh, worry about jumping it off. There we go. Throw this back in the bag. It's nice having both of those booster packs with me now. All right. Well, I like this one, but you guys already know it's outside of my price range, man. I don't have money like that. I don't have money like that. I don't know what this thing's gonna go for either. Ooh, that air conditioning is, that's too cold. It's sitting at 68 degrees. Hell no. That is cold. You know, it needs a little bit of work, guys. Let's give her a little rev. I do hear a little noise come from the engine bay. Huh. Goes right into gear, no issue. Backwards, yep. Forward, yep. Got your two auto, four high and four low. Got your diff lock as well. Yeah, everything looks like it's working on this, guys. Think she'll start back up. Yep, she will. I guess I'm gonna sit here, let it run for another minute or two, guys, to help charge that battery up. And uh, we'll move on to the next one. As usual, I forgot that we've already done all the cars today. There is no next one. So we're gonna get out of here, guys. If you enjoyed the content, hit the thumbs up button. Stay safe out there, because I wanna see you guys again very soon in the next one.